Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss a rehashing technique. What is meant by rehashing? Hashing, inserting elements, elements into the hash table with a constant time. Rehashing, that means already hashed elements are there. All these elements again rehashed. Rehashed with new hash table size. You may get doubt. When shall we use this rehashing technique? So, main important point. If collision occur, listen very carefully. If collision occurs, then we are using separate chaining. In open addressing, three techniques are there. Na? So, one is uh, linear probing. Another one is quadratic probing and double hashing. So, here of course, you may insert any number of elements. Okay. Here, if collision is occurred, then we are using so new hash function, h of s or some h of k. So for new hash function, if you have calculated, then you won't get an empty cell. You won't get an empty cell for inserting new element into the hash table. Of course, some spaces are there. For example. This is my hash table 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hash table size is 6. Now, we you have inserted some element. Next, another element. Next, another element. Next, some another element. Like this, you have inserted. Now, collision occurred for these cells. Then, either linear or quadratic or double hashing you will use now. By using those new hash functions, you won't get these mapping addresses. You won't get these mapping addresses. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You won't get by applying that formula 2 and 4. But there is a space to insert. There is a space to insert but you won't get that mapping address. Okay. So in that situation, what shall we do? So, and the concept here, it is one another important definition that is called as load factor. Load factor is denoted with lambda. Lambda is a number of elements present in the hash table to the hash table size. Number of elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 by 6, it is 2 by 3. 2 by 3 means uh, 2, 2s are uh, 4, 2, 3s are now. Okay. Uh, 2 by 3 means how much? Three, 0 point nearly 8. If table is or if the load factor is more than half full, then there may be difficult in getting an empty cell. In that situation, we will use this rehash. Okay, if load factor or, or you can say if hash table is more than half full, then this rehashing is used. More than half full. Why should we use rehashing? There may, may not get an empty cell for insertion. Of course, there is a space to insert. Okay. So, that is a rehashing concept. I think it is clear students uh, when we will use this rehashing. If you are unable to understand, please... Uh, move back in the video and again listen to the video once then it will be clear okay so now for example for example um, hash table size is 10 okay so now some elements they have given some elements they have given so now you are not getting an empty cell you are not getting an empty cell then we have to increase the hash table size how much hash table size you have to consider how much hash table size you have to consider okay so already it is 10 hash table size double the hash table size and consider the next prime number. That means it is 20. The next prime number is 23. 
this is the new hash table size okay so and then your hash function is as usual hash function is key modulus a hash table size that hash table size now you have to consider is a new hash table size ignore the old table size okay so that means for example this is the hash table assume assume this is the hash table 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. For example, some elements are already there. Table is more than half full now. Some elements are there like 10. Randomly I am inserting. Randomly I consider some elements. Randomly I am inserting into the hash table. Okay. Some 35, 67, then 31, then here you assume 22, okay. Then here 34 and here it is 56. What is the load factor lambda? Lambda equal to number of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 by 10, 0 0.7. So it is greater than 0 0.5. So then what shall we do? Rehashing. So, what is a new hash table size? 23 you have to consider. So, 23 means starting from 0, ending with 22. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then twenty two. Okay. Nineteen, eighteen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Now rehash means what shall we do? Again, we will reinsert the elements into the new hash table with a new hash function. That means new hash table size 23. What shall we do now? Consider 1 by 1 from 0th bucket to 9th bucket. So first element, consider this order. Okay, not the given order. Consider this order. The elements are 10, 31, 22, 34, 35, 56 and 67. 10 modulus, H of 10 equal to 10 modulus. New hash table size is 23. New hash table size is 23. So now, 10 modulus 23 means how much? Here it is 10. So, element is inserted in 10th bucket. 10th bucket. 10 is inserted here. Next one is 31. 31. H of 31 equal to 31 modulus 10, which is equal to 1. So, insert in first bucket. See, but here we should not consider 10 or no. Here we have to consider 23. Okay, then what is the hash function? Value bucket number 8 we will get. So, 31 is inserted in 8th bucket. Now, H of 22 is 22 modulus 23. So, you will get 22. So, then insert 22 in bucket number 22. H of 34 then 34 modulus 23, uh, 23 to 0, 2, 3, 0, 6, 2, 46, which is greater now. So, 34 minus 23, which is 11. So, here 34 is inserted in 11th bucket. Next, 35, H of 35, 35 modulus 23, 35 modulus 23 is what shall we get? So, 35 modulus. So, it is 
11 here and here you will get 35 minus 23 which is nothing which is 12 so this 35 is inserted in 12th bucket okay then 34 is inserted in 34 is inserted in 11th bucket 34 okay next 35 completed 56 56 modulus uh, 23 is 56 minus 46 you will get you will get a 10 now see in rehashing you got a collision in rehashing you got a collision means generally we will use a linear probing so as you know linear probing means in the next cell will be verified next cell will be verified and next empty cell in the next empty cell the element is inserted so 56 next 67 modulus 23 67 modulus 23 means 23 threes are check that up so 3 threes are 9 3 twos are 6 69 so 23 twos are only so that is 46 67 minus 46 how much here 21 so 67 is inserted in 21st bucket i think hope you understand students so now the point here it is you are rehashing the elements while rehashing you may get collisions if you get a collision then generally which collision resolution we will apply linear probing okay so hope you understand students this rehashing technique if you have any doubt you please post the doubt in in the comment box thank you students have a great day bye